To this day, I still can't adequately express how much I love Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. But, I have tried. So I found this great ROM hack called Thousand Year Door 64. In the simplest terms, this hack was made by two people. Toaster Ketchup and AG Lab 2. Both channels will be linked below. The hack is supposedly unfinished and may never be finished. With this in mind, I expected maybe two levels full of invisible walls with like three stars each. So when I booted it up and got as far as Twilight Town, I realized that every level had seven stars, and most of them even connected to an additional sub-level. I was blown away. As far as I've played, the game has levels all the way from Petal Meadows all the way up to Keel Hall Key, with the addition of many levels that are completely original. Even the levels that were lifted out of Thousand Year Door are heavily modified to fit Super Mario 64 much better, but without hampering the visual style and look of Thousand Year Door. As I mentioned before, the levels also link to a separate level, like Petal Meadows links to a fully remade Hooktail Castle and Boggly Woods has the Boggly Tree. The game has a total of 80 stars, which is surprising for an incomplete game. And if it wasn't for the fact that it doesn't have all the levels from Thousand Year Door, I would not have guessed that it wasn't finished. One thing that's really cool about this hack is that every level star are color-coded to make them look like the crystal stars from the original. I didn't even know that was possible, but apparently it is. That's amazing. Another thing I noticed about this hack is that it seems reminiscent of Brodute hacks in a number of respects. First of all, you only need to collect 80 coins to get the coin star. Secondly, you only need to collect 6 red coins to get the red coin star. Also, the game has a number of songs that I can only assume are from Toho because I don't recognize them in the slightest. At this point, any song I don't recognize, I just assume it's from Toho. You hear this song from the 30s? That was actually from Toho the whole time. That should be the new Darude Sandstorm. Like, what's this song called? And just be like, yeah, it's from Toho, and make them browse the entire Toho series soundtrack until they either find it or realize you were just fucking with them and made them browse the whole soundtrack because you're a horrible person. The music in the game is a mix of remixes from Paper Mario and music that's almost definitely from Toho. Some remixes are great, while others could be better. Granted, I must admit, I do get a little bit autistic when it comes to music, and I mean that literally. It's one of those things that just kind of bugs me a tiny bit. So when I bitch about music, take it with a grain of salt. Gameplay wise, the game is great. It can be easy without being brain dead and sometimes it's challenging without being fuck you, for the most part. There are parts with insta-kill quicksand that I fucking despise. Sometimes there's invisible walls, which are amazing. The camera makes me very angry. But these are common issues. This house in Rogueport has a star in the attic. At first I didn't know how to get in there, but I discovered that if you wall jump up there, you can go through the wall into the attic. It took me a million tries to get it to work. But then I realized that the stars on the ground are warp zones. I never felt so stupid in my life. And I played Skyrim before. Like most hacks, Thousand Year Door is a little rough around the edges, but there's enough variety and a very healthy respect for the original source material that I can easily recommend this one to anyone. Especially fans of Thousand Year Door, which should be everyone. I mean, I don't know anyone who doesn't like that game, besides people who have never played it. I do hope that it does get finished one day, but don't think that just because it's unfinished that it's inadequate. It's well above adequate. It's a solid quality hack. Go play it. Like now.